Okay, time to make some threads. Placing a rod on a vintage sax. Hmm. It's always end up loose. Wonder if I'll ever figure out why that is. Yes, yes I will. My name is Matt Storr and I repair sax ones for a living and for a long time, I have wondered why the replacement rods that I make for vintage American horns don't fit exactly right. They just don't feel like the originals, they feel loose. And when I brought this up with people and I kind of, I've sort of approached these problems like a child. If I don't get the answer I want, I wait a little while and I ask again. Um, because the conditions might change. And finally, this year, I asked again, and the conditions did change. And the conditions that changed were that the King Super 20 blueprints have resurfaced. And on the blueprints, they give the answer to this problem. The problem is that we've been using UNF and UNC dies and taps when what you need is NF. They are a very slightly different standard and it's somewhat confusing because you can see, you know, these dies, they've got the split here. You can adjust these open and shut and you can make things a little bit better. And the newer stuff, which is the U, is backwards compatible. So you can use UNF stuff in NC, or sorry, UNF and UNC in NF and NC, but it doesn't work the other way around. And what you get when you use a UNF or UNC die is, the stuff you're probably used to. So this is a this is a 348 post. This is a vintage Con alto saxophone. It's a 6M. Just happens to be gold plated and original pads and everything. So unmolested. This is actually my horn. I've had it for like three years. It's still not overhauled because I'm at the bottom of my own wait list. So here is the original screw, right? Um, this is a screw that I just made, 348, right? So here is the original. Here's the replacement. They mate together. So it's 48 threads per inch. They look, come on, go ahead and focus. They look really, really similar. Um, and you take the UNC 348 and you screw it in here and it does go in, but look how loose that is, right? And when you screw it all the way in and the shoulder catches, right, it becomes like a usable rod. And this is what almost everybody and everyone I've ever talked to is dealing with and this is what I've dealt with in the past and you can take these dies and you can adjust them and open them up a little bit and try and have it so that it's a little bit tighter but that is what everybody's dealing with that is a 348 UNC and then you take a 348 NC which you can still buy either on eBay uh, or sometimes they're still made I had a pretty easy time finding so 448 NF is what the pivot screws are um, on these and also, um, I think, no, there's still 348. So 348 is the posts on cons and most kings, as well as the headless pivot screws on kings. And then the pivot screws, headless pivot screws on cons are, sorry, I was showing you 448. 448 is the pivot screws for king, uh, God. 448 is the pivot screws for cons. 348 is the rods and the pivot screws for kings and also the rods for cons. So we just saw the looseness of a 348 UNC. Here is a 348 NC that I just made with this die. I'll go ahead and screw this in. Already feels a lot better. And there we go. That's a bit more normal, right? And when we screw this all the way in, it is super firm and nice and feels like the original. Now that might not be a huge deal to a lot of people, but it makes a pretty big difference in feel, especially when, you know, when you're screwing, this is the original rod in. When we screw this halfway in, you can see there is a little bit of movement there, right? So it's really counting on the shoulder to tighten it all the way in, but then that feels really, really good. And we'll show you one more time. So here's the UNC, which does fit but it's just really, really loose. And then the NC. Quite a bit tighter. Um, and another test is, so here is the original screw. If you take this and you try and put it into a 348 UNC, 
it actually won't go. It goes in like a thread and then stops. It just, the geometry doesn't match. And then here is a UNC, right? And this will go in no problem, right? Nice and tight in there. And then here is the NC that I made. Also won't go. And then here's the 348 NC, which will take the original screw, goes in, it's snug without removing metal. The UNC almost like slides all the way in, but goes in pretty loose. And then the one I just made, snug without removing any metal. So mystery solved. The issue is that the threads changed in 1949. They went from being NC and NF to UNC and UNF. And the newer ones are backwards compatible, but loose. The older ones are not forwards compatible. You can jam them in, um, but it doesn't quite work right. And they're actually really, really close as far as like the actual measurements of everything. I mean, you look at them visually and you can't really tell the difference. Um, it's the actual geometry of the threads are a little bit different. The UNC and UNF standard tried to give them a little bit more tolerance, a little bit more room uh, for things to not be perfect and still work. Um, so the peaks and the valleys are a little bit different. Uh, the angle is the same, the threads per inch is the same, but the um, actual shape of the threads is slightly different. So you can use modern dies that you buy and they come in the kit that you buy from, you know, uh, music repair, um, distributors and manufacturers, but they're not actually correct for these vintage horns. Um, if you get a 348 NC, a 448 NF, and a 256, what is it, 256 NC, um, if you get those sizes in the NC and NF, then you will be in really good shape. And I've been kind of picking some up off of eBay. Um, I was able to get, you know, 10 348 new old stock uh, NCs uh, taps for like, I don't know, 15 bucks or something. So as long as everyone doesn't start looking for them at the same time. And this one, uh, this 448 NF, um, this is still made new. So some of them are made new. I'm not quite sure what the deal is. But mystery solved. If you're looking to get threads that are much more like the originals for your vintage American horns, get the NC and NF taps and dies, not the UNC and the UNF. So hopefully you found that helpful, useful, and informative. This is something that's been driving me crazy forever. And I am so excited <laughs> to finally be making screws um, that match the originals and are gonna feel like the originals and act more like the originals. And it was something so simple under my nose the whole time. Um, like I said, I've confirmed it empirically, which you just saw, and also on the original, so the con blueprints, people don't know where they are. They might still exist, hopefully they do. Um, hopefully they'll show up at some point. But the blueprints, the original factory blueprints for the King Super 20, um, they do exist. And right on them, it says, you know, 348 NC. So there you have it. Hopefully you found that helpful, useful, and informative. My name is Matt Storr. I repair saxophones for a living. Thanks for watching.